What's up boys and girls, welcome to Babushka Land. Today I'm going to show you how to make a zero tick sugarcane farm, all inside of one chunk. When you switch this farm on, it's going to produce a massive amount of kelp, which will then go through these hoppers into these composters, and it will be moved into this dispenser here, which is set off by this clock, which will shoot bone meal at the sugarcane here, which will cause the sugarcane to grow, be detected by this observer and pushed into this hopper. You will find the sugar cane on the side over here as it's being produced. You will need one dispenser, one observer, seven hoppers, one redstone comparator, three redstone repeaters, three redstone torches, 16 redstone dust, three pistons, two sticky pistons, one lever, one sugar cane, two trap doors, one, two, two and a half stacks of whatever block you want. Four glass panes. Five sand. One stair. Three buckets of water. Two composters. Some scaffolding. Two kelp. And six glass blocks. First, make sure you have a chunk visualizer. I previously made a video on how to get a chunk visualizer into your Minecraft world. A link to that video will be in the description below. So figure out where your chunk is, then move in one, two, three blocks, make a hole and put in two chests. You will need that later on. You can put a hopper there and from there set down any sort of block. One, two, three, four down, just like so. And from here, you can build a six by six platform. We're going to go out one, two, three, and one, two, three. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, go in one block and build out one, two, three, four. And go the other side and put eight blocks down like this. I'm going to throw one on top here temporarily. Put that there. Put this here and we're going to take this out. Next, grab a lever, pop it here. Grab a redstone torch, put it there. And put one repeater facing this way, like so. Afterwards, grab some redstone dust and start to make a trail. It's going to go up this way and around the back, like so. From there, you can grab two sticky pistons and face them out like this. If everything works, they should be moving in and out just like that. Grab some sand, put it in front of the sticky pistons, and also on top, just like that. Come up behind and place some regular blocks on top of the pistons, and two more on top of them. Then place some pistons facing towards you just like so. Next we can fill in one block here, tower up with some scaffolding, and fill in a wall that kind of goes up just above your pistons. Do the same thing on this side. Just like so. Now we can fill in the front area. Gonna have to scaffold up a little bit here too. So that it all comes out like this. Next we can grab some composters, put them like this. And we can place some hoppers going into the composters. So just jump to the other side and then shift click on the composters. After it should look like this. Once your hoppers are placed, build up some more blocks around them. Put some glass panes on the inside here, just like that. And fill in the top. So it should look like this. Next, come to the back. We're going to scaffold up a little bit from here. Place a block at the edge of the redstone here. Place a redstone torch on top of that. Place another block on top of that. Place a redstone torch on top of that block. Place another block up here. You can go up a little bit higher. 
Place two blocks behind the pistons. Put some redstone on top of those blocks. Connect your scaffolding. Walk over here. You can put two blocks in here. Actually, since these are sticking out, let's take this redstone out here. I want these guys in for now. We're going to place some water here and here. And we're going to put some trap doors out, just like so. Plant two pieces of kelp in the sand down in the water. Come to the backside and put your redstone down. The trap door should open and the piston should extend outwards. So you can take out your scaffolding on the front side and let's see if this works. All right, so we got a lot of kelp being made. That's perfect. So the kelp is growing very fast and it's being sent into these hoppers, which are sending the kelp into these composters and now they are making bone meal. If I click on this, I get a bone meal. If I click on this, I get a bone meal. So that's great. We have a decently fast kelp production here. And now we're going to move on to the sugarcane part of the farm. So fill this area in with some blocks. You can pop an upside down stair above the treasure chest so you can open it anytime. So you can take this block out here. Put a piece of sand there, take this one out here, and put some water in. Grab a sugar cane and put it on top of the sand here. Grab a dispenser and place it so it's facing the sugar cane. So the mouth should be here so it can shoot the bone meal at the sugar cane. You can now place a block here, place a block here as well. Grab a piston, face it towards the sugar cane, and we want to come around the backside. Place an observer right here. The red part should be out here, that's its butthole. You want to attach a block just behind it, where the piston is, then put a redstone on top of that block. If the observer is facing the sugar cane, what's going to happen is when the sugar cane grows to three tall, the observer will see it, send a signal out its butthole, and that will send a signal to this piston, which will then destroy the sugar cane and push it into this hopper. It will then collect inside of this chest here. Next, go to the right side, crouch down and attach a hopper to the dispenser. Keep that hopper line going and attach it to the composter. Go to the other side and attach it to the other composter. At this point, you should see bone meal collecting inside of your dispenser. Now you can build these walls up on this side and on this side as well. Up to over here. All right, from here, place a line of blocks in front and extend the walls out like so. Grab some glass blocks and place them in front, just like that. You can scaffold up on the other side and just fill everything in. So if I'm ever up here, I want to see it from the top. I'm going to put some glass on top like that, and I'm going to put the smooth stone down like so. Okay, excellent. If you want, you can clear these excess blocks or you can build around it and uh, house this somehow. I'm just going to take everything out that's kind of extra. Once you've completed this basic structure and there is plenty of kelp being produced, you're going to have to create a redstone clock for this dispenser here. So this dispenser can continuously shoot bone meal at the sugar cane. So you're going to make a 3x3 three three platform coming out from the dispenser. Just like so. From here, grab a redstone comparator, turn around, and pop it down just like that. Next, throw a repeater down like this. And after that, we're going to grab some redstone and go around this way and put a repeater down right here. Now you're going to see the bone meal shooting out and the sugar cane is going to be produced. You can always take this block out here if you want closer access to the treasure chest. Or you can swing around from this side and open it up like that. I'm going to be coming around from the left side because I think it just looks better if it's housed like this. So from here, the entire farm is complete. All you need to do to turn it on is turn on this lever right here. And it's going to make some noise. 
and it will continuously produce kelp here, which will then be turned into bone meal, which will then be sent to this dispenser, and this redstone clock will power the dispenser, cause the dispenser to shoot the bone meal at the sugar cane here, and the sugar cane will be smashed by this piston, which will then send the sugar cane into this treasure chest. And since this entire contraption is attached to my gunpowder farm, I can now take the sugar cane, turn it into paper, grab gunpowder, and turn it into fireworks. Now if I stand on this spot right here, I'm going to get EXP and I'm also going to get sugar cane at the same time. So I now have an unlimited fireworks farm. Thank you for watching my video. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care.